Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your two-week Princess Auto Sale Flyer, April 9th to the 21st, 2024. Uh, I haven't been doing these for a while. I just kind of like to let things change over a bit because, you know, you do them every every sale and it kind of seems like the same stuff all the time, right? So anyways, uh, there was something very interesting in this one, I thought, that you guys might be interested to see. We'll get to it here in a minute. So April 9th to the 21st of 2024. Man, I can't believe I'm saying that. Holy, where is the time gone? Oh my gosh. So anyways, so we got a little uh, pencil sharpener here. Looks like a little shoot on it too. That's kind of neat. Towable, I guess. Kind of cool. Wood chipper. Some tires for your trailer. Hydraulic port of power auto body frame repair. Oh man, I would not want to get into a job like that. I don't think. Ugh. <laughs> Refurbished. I don't. I don't like that word a whole lot myself. I've bought some things that were refurbished, and they should have been garbage, you know, because they're not good. <laughs> so I try to stay away from anything that says that word on it. So, anyways, we got a sprayer, power fist, little hand sprayer for your seedlings. Landscape fabrics and pegs. Oh huh, wow. Foldable workbench. 900 pound moving moving dolly man i'll tell you what i think i've told you this story before when i worked at the rental shop here in town we used to rent these and it wasn't even that nice it was basically like a oh it might have been 24 by 24 inch by three feet with four casters on it sheet of plywood man we rented those for like eight bucks a day i think it was and i'll tell you what the the lifetime you got out of them, you probably paid for that thing about 50 times over. They made a killing on those moving cart thingies, or moving dollies. For basically a sheet of plywood and four wheels, I built a few of them there for them when they, you know, wanted to get some new ones made up. So I built about 10 of them, I think, there or something. <laughs> no, if they went, they had a little hole here and then a piece of rope. And then another little hole here with, you know, a knot tied underneath. So you'd have like a little pull handle too. It's pretty simple. Made lots of money. So, what do we got here? Storage platform ceiling mount. Ooh, kind of like that idea. Yeah, that's actually way better. The one I got, it keeps uh, it's garbage, plastic, and junky. You should probably change it. 20-ton multi-directional low-profile welded bottle jack. See the inside scoop. Or just go past this. Something I think is coming up here. I wanted to show you a surplus. Uh, oh, in a minute here. Okay, hang on. Oh, got a powered wheelbarrow. Holy thousand dollars. Oh, it's 24 volt too. Oh, even worse. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, I guess you could use it indoors, which would be nice. Nice little lift truck. That's kind of cool. Huh. That's kind of neat. Another little flat cart. 880 pound. Did I make this any bigger? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, too big. Oh. There. Two inch trash pump. We had these at the rental too. Kind of not this exact one. They were, um, oh, I can't think of what brand they were. Huh. It's been a while. Anyways, it's been over 20 years since I worked there, so it's been a while. Uh, but then we had these in a three inch too. Man, they move a lot of stuff. Ooh. We had, uh, uh, diaphragm pumps too, where it would suck pretty much muck right out of a hole. It was pretty nasty, but it did work. Um, high water, uh, high pressure water pump kit. Really interesting. 85 PSI. That's pretty amazing. Neat. Another two inch gas pump. I got one of those too. It's kind of like this guy here sort of thing. It's not bad. It does pretty good. Submersible pump. Uh, what do we got here? Direct drive pond pump. Oh, wow, we two hundred thirty nine dollars. Uh just fill my pond in. Thank you. If I had one. <laughs> Water hose. Five eighths garden hose. Nice. And oh, postal logger. That's pretty cool. Plate compactor. Soil sieve. Or sieve. Whatever you want to say. Pretty small for my say application here, but need some three times the size. Actually, I saw one. Um, basically, it was basically a big thing like this, bigger though, round like this, and it was mounted on the front of like a skid steer, and you could scoop with it, pick it up, and then and then you dump the crap out. I thought that was pretty slick. 
Landscape Drag Harrow. There you go. Roller. Some fans. Little powered wheelbarrow guy. What on earth is that? Dethatcher. Oh, wow. Electric Dethatcher. Nice sweeper and some generators. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably start up my little yellow gen and let it run for a bit. I haven't had it going all winter. Ooh. Pretty sure I drained all the gas out of it, though. I can't remember. Pressure washers. That's good. Measuring tape stuff or whatever that guy's doing. Nice tarps. And concrete tools. There you go. Oh, here we go. Look at what they're selling here now. I can't believe that they're actually selling a mini excavator at Princess Auto for $8,888.88. So plus, of course, tax, right? So it'd be 9500 probably anyways. Let's see here. I will, and that's on sale too. It's $1,111 off. Oh, it should only be $1,111 anyways. Um, anyways, $8,888. 88.88 times 13%. Oh, I screwed that up. Sorry. 8888.88. So there's $1,155 tax on it. So it'd be $10,000, $10,044 for that. Oh, man, we get screwed in this country. Taxes. So let's. Um, Oh, there's a little video. Should we watch the video? Here we go. Yeah, might be all right. I don't know. But uh, I'll tell you what. So that's uh, $8,888 on sale. So we're going to say it's, I don't know, 9000 What would that be normally? Oh, it should probably tell you. Yeah, so 10000 bucks. So the Kubota I paid twice that for. <laughs> I paid $20,000 plus tax when I bought that thing like 10 years ago. So this is probably good for, you know, maybe digging in a petunia, maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe it's fine, but uh, they didn't really show too much about the engine on it. It's got a 15-horse engine, single cylinder on it. You're probably going to have issues with that. I, I would not probably really like the hydraulic system on this thing. I mean, if you're not using it professionally full-time, it'd probably be all right, but I don't know. It'd be nice if I could go somewhere and, like, try one, but... Uh, I don't know what controls they would have if they'd have the ISO or the, the standard, whatever. Oh, I should know this. I can't remember the other one now. The John Deere or the, you know, the cat controls. They're different, different controls. So, But uh, I don't know if it's reversible or configurable. But, uh, you know, if it's not, you're going to lose a lot of sales because a lot of people are like, Well, I'm used to this one. Well, I'm used to this one. Can we uh, look this actually up on their website? Description. It's probably not going to show me too much more. Um, where's their SKU number for it? Right there, but I can't copy that, I don't think. Oh, man. Well, let's just do this. Princess Auto. Princess Auto. And E-X-C-A-V-A-T-O-R. Excavator. Oh, they got this other one here, too, the towable one. Still got that. 
Let's have a look at her here. See if there's any different pictures. I doubt it. Probably basically what we just seen. Oh, it's even got a hydraulics up here. Auxiliaries. No way. Wow. Can run a thumb. Looks like it's got provisions for some kind of thumb already there too. That's kind of neat. Yeah, they thought of everything, but kind of interested to see what they got in it for the motor. It's probably their power fist engine or something. Back here, I guess. Yeah, I could just see a little bit of it there, so it'd probably be loud as hell too, because the thing would have to be running like crazy. Huh. No, I don't think I'm going to get one of them. <laughs> Anyways, let's carry on here. Ah, so we got a nice little canopy. Little fireplace guy. Ooh, fire stove fire bricks. There you go. Ooh, 30 of them. Or six, six of them, sorry, for 30 bucks. Wow. That's a lot. Double quick connect fitting. Looks like for Mr. Heater stuff. Okay. Nice, nice. Regulators and stuff. Yeah. Oh, some little hydraulic diaphragm sprayers. Diaphragm sprayers, sorry, not hydraulic. What am I thinking? Thinking hydraulics for some reason now. <laughs> some fans. Ooh, big giant ceiling fan. That's kind of cool. Some batteries. I don't know about their batteries there, but to be honest, I probably wouldn't buy one there. Uh, like I say, I don't really know about them. Usually the Pro Point stuff's pretty good with tools and stuff, but their batteries, I don't know. You get a lot of different batteries that are real crappy in, around us now, which really sucks. Nothing's any good anymore, but yeah, maybe they'll be all right. I don't know. I'd have to try one and see. Noco Boost. I think I got a few of these. And a battery tester. Some cables. Shut off. Shut off valves, we'll say. Sure. Shut offs. Battery switches. Battery accessories. Some solenoids. That's kind of cool. Four pole. Wow. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Three pole. One, two, three. So power in. Ground. And then power out to your starter. Three pole angled. 12 volt ignition. Hmm. Okay. They're all 12 volt though. They don't make no 6 volt stuff no more. Oh man. Oh man. Oh well. Visible glass. Nice. Brake cleaner. That's actually a pretty good deal for the original, original stuff. And fluid fill. Man, every time I look at this stuff, it's going up and up and up. That's what I call a sheep grease, this stuff. $14.99 a can, and that's actually on sale. It's normally $18.99 now. Wow, I remember buying that one. It was like $8.99 a can. Holy smokes. That's a few years back, mind you, but... Some old trim clad. These are kind of cool. You can do your own spray paint. To fill it full of air, I guess, and then... Away you go. It's kind of cool. Leak seal. Motorcycle lift. Ooh, half a car lift. I don't know how that would work. Guess it must rest on this side of the car and then this side. It seems kind of dangerous. Looks like it's on like a pallet jack kind of thing. Huh. Some floor jacks. Ooh, the gantry cranes on sale again. Some more jack stands. Auto body cart. Suction cups for moving glass and stuff like that. Ooh, what's this? Uh, 16 piece locking lug nut master key set. R really? Do you guys need to sell this? Like, that just gives. Here you go, take all my wheels because you've got the master kit now. You can take them all off with your electric impact gun. Holy smokes, they should not be selling stuff like this. Only to licensed mechanics, maybe? I don't know. That's asking for trouble, I think. But anyways, not my store. <laughs> Some more sockets and stuff. 
cooling system pressure tester. Turbocharger system leak tester. Hmm, cool. Diesel compression tester kit. Really? Wow, they're getting into all that big stuff now, eh? That's pretty neat. Inspection camera, vacuum fuel pump tester. I'd like to know how they test compression on engines like my wife's car, the Toyota. It's got the really long coil packs that you have to reach way down through the head to get it. The valve cover, I guess, there to get uh, the plugs out. And uh, you'd never get this little thing back. That would suck getting that stuck down there. I don't know how you'd get it back out. They must have a long tube that they can thread in that's got the spark plug threads on it. It's the only thing I can think, anyways. And then you at least get it out again. I don't see that on here, though. Sure, snap on cells, something like that. Trailer stuff. Bunch of trailer stuff. Reminded me now I got to put my new uh, battery powered jack on my big tra camper trailer. That'll make it so much nicer. So much nicer. Tire changer. Ooh, I want a powered tire changer. Air powered. Some more trailer accessories. Not really looking in there too deep here because I don't really need any trailer accessories. I don't think we're all good for that right now. Oh, look at this. They got one of these here. <sighs> copy, copy, copycats. Oh, my goodness. A little different here, though, because it looks like you can actually change to an inch and seven eighths. Inch and seven eighths, two inch or two and five sixteenths. That's pretty cool. Now, why wouldn't you put this over here, maybe? Hmm. Can't, I guess. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Dough head. Oh, I'm such a dough head because this is facing this way. I do remember seeing the ones that was just a square receiver that had like, you know, one, two, three, and then on the bottom they had like a grab hook or something. I think I remember seeing those a long, long time ago. Oh, some more tires and stuff. Oh, what is that? Trailer tire. Little skinny guy. Huh. Carlisle. Oh, there you go. Nice drag behind mower. Look at the price of that thing, too. Holy. Man, electric electric, <laughs> electric tiller. Oh, you got to be kidding me, right? All righty. Mini gas cultivator. I got one of those little guys. Not quite like this, but something like that. And it, eh, eh, it always seemed like it was working really hard. Ah, I just never really used it very much, to be honest. But, anywho. Oh, there's a, like a combi system thing. That's kind of cool. Where's the weed whacker head for it? I wonder. Brush. Sweeper thing. A brush. Saw. Huh. That's cool. Little hedgy trimmer thing on wheels. And then a hedge trimmer. Little road tiller. It looks like a, a blower. <laughs> That's funny enough. I had. I have one of these. I have one of these. I have one of these. Basically. Not both of these. I have one of these that you can change these brushes to the paddles. And I have one of these. And I had one of these, except I, it fell over while I was walking out that way at the garage. And I tripped over the damn thing and fell on it. And it really hurt. And actually kind of smushed it and broke it. So I just ended up chucking it out. Tried to fix it. Just, ah, it was never good again. So chucked it out for all it was worth. It wasn't worth that much. So, But anyways, long story. Oh, man, cordless weed whacker. you got to be kidding me. That's more expensive than the gas-operated one. What are we doing with this stupid battery-powered stuff? I don't get it. And in, like, two years when this thing needs a new battery, oh, no, we don't have those anymore. I know that's going to happen because it's happened before. It's happened when they come out with, like, the old NICAD drills. Uh, pardon me, and other battery tools and stuff that are, like, you know time the batteries wore out yeah you go back to look for, no we don't have those anymore no those are oh, no you have to buy the whole new thing oh my god i'm not crazy in the battery powered stuff some things are good with them and some things aren't but anyways there's a little mini x again nice crawler excavator holy i'd like to try one actually it'd be kind of cool you probably have to fly to their head office so in like uh, alberta or something i'm like no thanks <laughs> Pressure washer stuff. Oh, we'll be doing pressure washing against these little motors. Oh, wow, $1,500. Well, that's a pretty interesting one. This is kind of like what's on my mower. Um, a little zero turn kind of sort of thing. It's not a Briggs. So it is a Briggs and scrap iron. It is too. Yeah, okay. Honda engines. Oh, boy. 
surplus, some knives. Eh, I'm not going to look at the surplus too much. Eight bucks for a moving blanket, though. It's not bad. Red and black, eight gauge wire. Yeah, I don't really need any of this stuff. I don't think there's a. <laughs> Electric spray gun. That's kind of handy, actually, because, you know, that would be pretty handy. But then again, when this battery's poached, then what? Throw it all out, buy a new one. I guess that's what they want you to do. Sneaky how they uh, market all this crap now, isn't it? They don't want nothing to last at all now. Just garbage it. Well, sooner or later, you're going to be standing on heaps of this crap because there's not going to be anything to do with it, right? So throw it in a big heap. Anywho, safety chains. So we miss anything here? I was kind of rambling there, sorry. Exercise bike. Oh, that's too much work. <laughs> nice hammock. Oh, I think I'd rather have a hammock than an exercise bike, and it's way cheaper. <laughs> Some safety chains for your trailers. Some paracord ropes. Oh, they even sell shirts or no? Huh. Very nice questions. More surplus. What is that thing? Hydro garden system. There's no soil. Hydroponic system for year-round growing. Limited quantities. Okay, then. Inflatable booster ball. I don't know what that is. Pump to pour hydration system. Okay. Airhead. Root farm hydroponic peat moss potting mix. Have thousands of new items every year. Yeah, no doubt. There's that big giant compressor. Wow! Look at the price of it now. I think last time I seen it was forty eight hundred bucks. Now look at it. It's fifty seven ninety nine normal price. Wow! That's some pretty major air. Though. Like you need three phase power for that, right? So that's that's, that's pretty gigantic, huge ten horse motor. Thirty three point six CFM at one hundred and seventy five psi. I wonder how long it would take to pump that tank up. I bet you that would be done in probably around five, five, six minutes. That would be done. Holy, it's major air. Hose, 1,550 foot, 75 bucks. Air fittings. Cheapy air hoses, filler guns, tire filler guns. Oh, there you go, a blowout line. That's kind of cool. Big, long wand blow gun. I've got one of them. Soda blasting media. All purpose masking paper. There you go. Little paint booths, mixing cups and stuff. Oh, wow. They got the big air impacts. One inch drive. Big feller. Wow, that's pretty cheap, actually. Could not be very good quality, though. Power fist. Uh, I'd rather see that as a pro point. It'd probably be another $200, but. Or $150, anyways. More, but uh, I've had the Power Fist impacts, half inch and stuff. They were not very good. This Ingersoll ran wouldn't be too bad, probably, though. Oh, that's kind of cool. Real low profile half inch. That's neat. Wow, we. Little die grinder, some adapter, socket adapters. That's pretty cool. Sockets. Drilling and screw bit things. Reciprocating saw. Pruning saw blades for reciprocating saw. That'd be pretty handy on a, on a uh, battery powered one, I think. Reciprocating saw. Miter stand. Very nice. Electric tools. What on earth is that? Angle grinder stand. Huh. Use your angle grinder as a chopping saw, I guess. That's different. I'd just buy a chopping saw, wouldn't you? Maybe. Oh, they got diamond wheels there. 14 inch, a little bit too big for my saw. My big cutoff saw, but. Very nice. That's kind of cool, eh? Uh, Razor Vision Flap Disc. Allows visibility of work in progress. That's kind of cool. So you can see when this thing's spinning really fast, you can see how it's tearing things off. It's a good idea, actually. Some twisted wire wheel stuff. That's pretty cool. More wire wheel stuff. There's your drill brush cleaning set. They seem to be real popular now. Some torque wrench stuff. Breaker bars. Some more of the little hand tools and stuff. 
Very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, brass hammer. I still want to try to make a brass hammer. I'm just kind of hung up a little bit on how to mold it. How to mold that. I guess you'd have to pretty much do it in sand, but I don't know. I've never really done that, but anywho. That would be kind of a cool thing. One pound brass hammer. That's actually fairly cheap, too. Pretty darn cheap. Punch set. Pipe nipple extractor set. There's a brass punch set. There you go. Very nice. Three piece. Normally 30 bucks for that. Wow. Wow. Taping measuring things. Some more ad stuff. Ugh, poop snakes. Pipe benders, metal detector, more ads, sleeping bags. Judd single speed folding bike. Hmm. Hmm. Air Dewey. Oh, there's all the stuff for your trailer. Trailer hitch lube. Uh, rubber seal conditioner, window and truck RV, window and truck dry lube, window, hmm. slide out silicone lube, there you go, it's actually a pretty good price for that stuff, boat motor covers, and boat, boat covers, <laughs> boat seats, I guess we're getting into boat season again, poop things, chicken huts, poultry stuff, Fence and stuff, a little greenhouse, that's kind of cool. Some little casters, some more caster. Yeah, so we used to get like basically kind of like these sort of things when we built those. Well, probably these ones actually cheap, just cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, when we used to build those little moving moving dolly things. So that's for a set of scaffolding, this thing. So you put your scaffolding down here. And then, of course, one of our, you know, four, and then you could roll it around on the floor, right? Yeah, there's all your nuts and bolts and hardware stuff. A little safe, some extension cords. Ripping guy, I got one of those, not quite like that. It's, uh, mine's a land pride, but it looks basically the exact same. Probably made in the same factory. wire and some buckets and ooh, grow light Ooh, that's actually really cheap hanging grow light too at that four foot two foot oh it's just a small guy live trappers moving blankets a toolbox 23 inch metal and plastic toolbox oh boy more toolboxes, little bolts and nuts, storage thingies, creeper, some seats to sit on. That's quite a funny looking, it's all plastic a bit. <laughs> Did you know? No, I didn't. Oh, look at these lights now. It looks like a bug zapper. <laughs> Earplugs and earmuffs and safety glasses, masks. Oh, man, I am so done with them. Who cares about the masks? <laughs> nice little rechargeable work lights. Yeah. Cargo carriers. Universal bucket seat and headrest cover set. Yeah. Oh, there's a cool thing. Helps you get out of the car. Tell you rip your leg on this thing. Trying to get out of the car. That's probably what I would do. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways. Trailer brake control. Wowee. 50 inch LED light bar. Holy. Why do you need so much? That's gigantic. Kind of surprised I haven't made these in like like a big panel. Like 50 inch by like, you know, a foot tall or two foot tall. Oh, can you imagine how bright that would be? That'd be awesome. Like stadium lights. 
Crazy. Oh, look at this cool little gas powered winch. <laughs> no kidding. Some grab hooks and some ratchet straps. We've kind of seen all this, so I'm kind of going through it sort of fast. If you guys want to stop, pause, and look at something, go right ahead. That's just all fine. Hydraulic stuff now. Don't really need any of that. It's so expensive now. Even on sales, hydraulics, expensive stuff. Little torch kits. Drill and press. Hey! No kidding! Wow. Oh, this is a multi-process. This is the exact same company, brand, that I got off Amazon. The cheapest, I made a video, the cheapest welder on Amazon that we tried out. And, uh, wowee, there it is. <laughs> Crazy. Was it the cheapest welder or the cheapest plasma cutter? Boy, I can't remember now. I think it was the welder. Yeah, it was the welder, I'm pretty sure. But this does, um, let's see here. TIG. Mig and stick weld. So that's pretty cool. Multi-purpose. That's why it's a little more money, I guess. Huh. Nice. Very nice. Welding helmets. Ooh, I almost need a second welding helmet. That would be kind of cool. Someday, maybe. I got no money now, so there's no point buying nothing. Oh, uh, that's it, I guess. Okay, well, we're at a flyer. Sorry, guys. That's it for the Prince's Auto Sale flyer. Hopefully you enjoy that. I can't believe they're selling a little mini X there now. That's just nuts. I can't believe that. And they probably got like a 14 or 15 horse little cheesy Chinese engine on it. I'm sure it's not too good anyways. But anywho, there we go from April 9th to the 21st, 2024. Thanks again for watching. I hopefully you enjoyed that. And happy shopping.